South Dakota. A state so vast, Josh says it feels like if I was an ant living in Ohio. Hundreds of billboards, cows, and blue skies, at least during the day. But we're here for one reason, the Southwest Corner. And first on our list, none other than Badlands National Park. It's so beautiful. <laughs> After saying bye to Zach and Gwendolyn, who we camped with in our last video, we jumped back on the road 321 miles on 90 and headed west towards the Badlands. We are headed to this little stop so we can pick up some dinner for tonight. We did just stop at a rest stop very unexpectedly and when we got out of the car, we met the sweetest puppy. It was, I believe, a Swiss mountain dog. He kept calling it a Swissy. Oh my goodness, was he the cutest dog. Little puppy, I fell in love and I could have stared at that dog all dang day. As you can see, I have changed because it is hot and spicy in South Dakota. I think it's supposed to get up to 88 degrees when we're in the Badlands. We just got our food for dinner tonight. And honestly, this little stop, what's it called, Oasis? Owl's Oasis. Is the best stop that we've experienced so far because it had pretty much everything you needed from food to enjoyment to experience. I hope we see one of these guys soon. I'm not gonna get that close to it though. And now, oh, we also got cheese curds. Southwest Ranch flavored. Anyways, we have about two-ish hours left to go before we hit the Badlands National Park. I'm so excited. We are testing the squeak factor of the Southwest Ranch cheese curds. Dollar style squeak. I was definitely expecting more of a squeak. It kind of just tastes like cheddar cheese with Southwest seasoning on it. We can't even make it to our first hike because we saw this ranch store that has a bunch of prairie dogs running around that you can like get really close to and see. So we're going to check out some prairie dogs before we even get into the park. He's either getting a real suntan or like he's in a trance because he ain't doing nothing. Yeah, I can't do nothing. I'm going to go find someone else. Hey, no. Oh no, he didn't want it. I don't think they like peanuts. I don't know. Badlands National Park is known for its layered rocks, spires, and canyons. Some wildlife you can expect to see here are bighorn sheep, deer, pronghorn, elk, rattlesnakes, prairie dogs, and bison. This park is 244,000 acres and became a national park in 1978. The very first overlook, like as soon as you get into the park. This is amazing. There's just like random green. Like why is there green? Normal. I feel like grass shouldn't grow in like this deserty looking environment. It's so beautiful. It's like it's, you're not we're barely into the park at all and it's super cool. The park got its name from the Lakota people who called it Mako Sika or Bad Land because of its dry desert rocky terrain that made it challenging to cross. And we get it. Ow, my ankle. Oh my toes. Oh gosh. <laughs> But it sure is beautiful. I love the reds. Like there's red bands and stuff through there. Ho ho. Mom, it's not even that scary, I swear. Oh, I swear that's not a big drop off. I'd be fine. I wasn't sure what to expect with the Badlands. I was picturing more so what's on the right side, which is this green field over here. But I wasn't expecting this like Utah looking red side, which is pretty cool. And it's an interesting mashup between the two different Vibes. On the agenda, lots of driving, wildlife chasing, and hiking. We are starting off strong with one of the more popular hikes in the park, which is the Door Trail. It is 0.9 miles, and what's nice is the first couple hikes that we're doing is all in the same area of the park, which is not even a couple miles into the entrance from the east side. So let's check out the Door Trail. First of all, this feels like another planet. And also when I was doing my research on the Badlands and talking about it with other people, I guess I just didn't expect how big it was. It just keeps going. We've reached the end of the trail. 
it was so easy, but also it's extremely hot. This is nice. There's a breeze now, but it is still hot out here. Uh, what's wrong with me? Oh, that was like not too much. I love, I love doing what we're doing. I love doing what we do. But when it gets hot. Or hungry. When I'm hungry, I'm a different person. You're not you when you're hungry. No, it's been really fun, trust me. I haven't been like that cranky. The window trail is an easy breezy, beautiful cover girl, 0.3 mile trail. My sunglasses are slipping off of my nose because I'm sweating so much. This is literally, 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 the whole hike in one shot. I think it's just up to this window. Oh, this is just an overlook. It's not even a hike. It's a point three mile overlook. <laughs> but you could go off roading if you wanted. Off roading. The window trail was a little underwhelming because it was so short, but still beautiful. Now we're doing the notch trail. It's an hour, hour and a half. It's a mile and a half long. Don't know if we're really up to it because we want to see the rest of the park. So we'll go a little bit and then see how we're feeling. Moderate to strenuous. See behind me, this ladder is the next step of this hike, which I get why they would say wear sturdy shoes. It makes a lot of sense to get up that. I've seen this in pictures and videos before, but I never really realized how kind of like it's steep um, at the top. That's a steep ladder it is, at the but top. It's pretty cool. So I think we're going to head up there and maybe not do the whole thing, but at least get to the top of the ladder. We can probably do the whole thing. That was crazy. And now we just go along this ridge. I was still dying for the ladder. Erica found the notch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's that say? The end. Oh. Three hikes in like two hours. Pretty proud of us. After a quick drive in the AC, which was great, we're gonna do another short 0.7 mile hike, Saddleback. Nope. Saddle Pass Trail. Saddle Pass Trail, baby. <laughs> Shouldn't be too bad, should be pretty quick. Yeah. But my feet still hurt. <laughs> Alright, that over there is the Saddle Pass Trail. But I found my own little trail, it's pretty cool. It's like, uh, it's narrow and steep. Okay, that was steeper than I thought. It's gonna be actually harder. As you can hear, the rocks sliding. I'm gonna turn this off. I won't fall. This is a straight up guy, okay? Just a warning. Although it's only 0.7 miles. It's Jeez. Slow and straight up. She's a hard 0.7 mile. And it's a million degrees out here now. Ah, it is so hot. Yes, breathe on the earth. This is by far our hottest hike, except for when there's a breeze. The one guy passing said there's big horn sheep up around here somewhere. Slow and steady gets the big horn. Gets the big horn. Despite the amount of water I drank and sunscreen I applied, I believe I had half heat exhaustion and half sun poisoning, leading me to decide not to get to the summit with Josh. But here's his view. Summit. Oh shoot. That is what we like to call a long way down. I think this side's more scary actually. <laughs> Josh enjoyed what might have been the best view all day. We saw two little dots resembling big horn sheep from very far away. There they go. And we came to realize that the hike down was a lot steeper than we thought. Ow, my ankle. Oh, my toes. What else is wrong with you? Everything. I think I have heat exhaustion. I'm not even joking. I think you have exhaustion, exhaustion too. Why am I naked in there? <laughs> yeah, we'll be nice and recovered after sleeping in our car. Your face is red. It hurts. Oh, my toe. 
Ow. I think we'll like a big crusty salad right now. Mmm. Crispy, not crusty. <laughs> you want a crusty salad? A crispy, like fresh iceberg, like all the vegetable salad. I need to like blow my nose. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> you okay? I'm not <laughs> Are you okay? Are you laughing or crying? <laughs> Oh gosh, <laughs> hold on to my shoulders, hold on to my shoulders, you have, yeah, you have some heat, something or other, come here, wait, drink some water, you're almost there, we're like, it's all downhill, hold on to my shoulders, you're gonna slip, why did we, it's not, hold. it's bad, it, this is bad, here, hold on, <laughs> hold on to my shoulder, Oh. there you go, you're gonna slip too. No, I'm not. Babe. I'm taking small steps. <laughs> Horrible shoes. This oh, actually is like pretty steep. Down. I am so stressed. Hell, like that's pretty steep. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, I just feel gross. Yeah, let's go take a nice cold shot. Oh, wait, we don't have showers I tonight. Need a shower. Can we just pay for one somewhere? Can we go to random strangers' houses and ask for a shower and see who says yes? Um, we'll probably ruin their showers at this point. <laughs> We're basically back now. <sighs> My back has rarely been this sweaty. We only did 3.7 miles today. Got some bison guys we found some they're far away though prairie dog town i can hear the prairie dogs where are they why are you yelling did you just rattle yeah i just heard it oh look at him putting his mouth up so this is fangs. What is he doing? Severe thunderstorm warning in effect for this area until 7.15 p.m. for destructive, in all caps, baseball size hail. Take shelter in a sturdy building away from windows. People and animals outdoors will be severely injured. Oh, good. And we were planning on either tent camping or sleeping in our car, which I think either is not the smartest. But look at how dark. Uh, you probably won't be able to tell. That's coming straight this way. What should we do? But where? Like which area? Anywhere that, like, best option around here. I'll look at just this general area. We figured it would be better safe than sorry in this situation and everything we've looked at is pointing us towards severe thunderstorms which we really shouldn't be camping so plus we both really want to shower. Our request has been sent and we'll find out if we get to stay there within 24 hours. It is dark. I mean we'll see. The one guy that we met, David, was talking about how there was like a random hailstorm that came through when he was in Custer State Park. So again, better safe than sorry. Please answer me. <laughs> we need somewhere to sleep tonight. We got a confirmation. All right, thank goodness. Well, we have somewhere indoors <laughs> to stay tonight. Won't be sleeping in a tent in a, yeah, in a hailstorm. <laughs> I was gonna say thunderstorm and then I was gonna say hailstorm and it came up with uh, And we get to shower yes. after being like the sweatiest I've been. I'm pretty sure it's like the host's house that we're just staying in our guest room. What are the bison gonna do in a hailstorm? <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna see a bunch of dented bison tomorrow. Well, <laughs> All right, we made it to our Airbnb. 
the rain didn't hit us at all, actually. It seemed like it might stay a little north of us, which is good. But uh, yeah, it's, it's it actually looks pretty nice on the camera. It's darker than you'd think. Watch this. See, it looks, it looks like that. That's what it looks like. Anyway, yeah, we made it to our Airbnb. Host seems nice. It's a private room, so we're like in their house with them, which is cool, and they have a friendly dog. Showers, which will be amazing. Can we go to random strangers' houses and ask for a shower and see who says yes? Um, I smell that. Oh my gosh, my forehead is like red. <laughs> that's, that's a good look. I think it's a good choice. Yeah, this Airbnb will be a good opportunity to recharge our batteries. Uh, they're a little dead. Like and subscribe. <laughs> that was the best shower I've ever had in my life. I've never gone from feeling so gross to so clean in a matter of minutes. The Airbnb host, you are amazing. This place is amazing. I literally am so, so happy that we decided to do this. <sighs> you need what? My rice. Oh. Yeah, well, well, instant, instant rice. rice. Well, what side's the bin on this uh, side? I don't know. Erica. What? 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 Our lock. How do you? How do we get it off? Josh, how do we get <laughs> it off? There's no face. I, I think it's cheap enough that I can get into it, but that's very cheap. Oh the whole face of the oh. lock. No. <laughs> how do we get that lock off? Oh no. We'll come back to this problem right after we eat. We're just using someone else's kitchen and their stuff. We're <laughs> going through their stuff feeling so weird. Feels weird, but it's nice of them. Very kind of them. <laughs> Can I try to make the heaters? Yeah. A <laughs> heater bowl. <laughs> I don't know where their trash can is. We sifted through all of their cabinets, confused on whether or not that was part of the deal, but we just couldn't help but think, despite issues that arise while traveling, there's always a solution and always kind people to help you find it. This is what traveling's about. Flexibility, shared experiences, and meeting new dogs. Cherry, this one's in three. Cherry, this isn't for you. We got rice, lettuce, and then fajita stuff mix. And that's our dinner tonight. And cheese, of course. Chicken fajitas. Chicken fajita bowls. Obviously, not like home, but she's good. After a long day of sweating and hiking and almost dying. Shower felt better though. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my god, my new friend Cherry. I love her. Let's see if we can get this lock working. I have an idea. I know what I have to do. I'm gonna try using a frosty coupon to open this lock. Ah, I think it's a little too fat. What's thinner than this? Just break it. What's thinner? I need something thinner than this. Same wait, strength. Wait, 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 wait. What do you, you have an idea? Maybe. Let's try it. Business card? That might work, actually. This is what we need right here, I think. Neighborhood. Okay. I mean, Real number is going to be in the middle of that range, which is zero. Seven. Seven. Oh, wait, That's what we wait. found out. I think I was okay. close. When I bought this lock, because I was told to buy a lock. Well, no, no. We both were told myself to go back. Uh, I can't think. Anyways, he said, this is a crappy lock. And in the sense that, yes, it is because the face of it flew off, it's also apparently a really good lock because he can't get into it. Well, all, in, all you need is one specific tool to get into it. Now. Well, who's just carrying that tool around? Nobody. So basically, well, I, I win. I can get into this, then it's I win. Then it's a crap lock. You, you lose. Go. I win, you lose. <gasps> Phone. Bye. Okay, just open it, John. <laughs> All right, is this the magic moment? This this card might work. If I can get into this lock with a piece of paper, then it is a crappy lock. It's close. Go in there. Nope, that didn't work. After many attempts, we had no luck getting into our much needed camping supplies. As the sun was going down, we decided it was best to get some sleep, do some research, and hopefully dream up a solution. Being locked out of our stuff was just one problem we faced as we continued west towards Glacier. Welcome to travel with the Gaskins. So check back next week to see us explore Custer State Park and Mount Rushmore and find out if we get into our supplies. Oh.